You need to stop getting the ick for the nice guy, okay? The guy that you should be getting the ick for is the guy who disrespects you, doesn't know how to communicate, can't text back, flakes on plans, yep. doesn't show up, you can't rely on. Like, that is not it, okay? The nice guy who you used to get the ick for, turns out they're actually great. They are great. They make you feel safe. They make you feel secure. They know how to communicate. They know how to text back. They know how to make plans. They know how to follow through. We love that. When I'm with him, I have not opened the car door to get in or out of the car. Okay, great. I love it. Princess treatment, sign me up. I'm here for it. I want to be a passenger princess, okay? That sounds pretty nice to me. What What the f*** is I getting the ick about? What the f*** is wrong with me when I was getting the ick for the nice guy? I don't know, okay? Some sort of trauma, obviously, but like, no more. Do you want to be miserable? Do you literally want to be miserable for the rest of your life? Do you want to tiptoe around someone else's feelings and emotions and always accommodate for their wants and needs without yours ever being addressed absolutely not i don't want to be in my masculine i want to just relax i want to feel sweet and cute when i'm with him i i want to be like you know i don't want to be like it's a possibility the thing about emotions is that even though they're great and they help us do a lot of stuff even for men they're fleeting you can feel one way one minute and another a <laughs> next so while that bad boy gives you the rush that you're looking for and this nice guy is a little bit more stable in the long run you want loyalty and consistency i decided to take a walk but you guys i was thinking it's crazy the amount of women who will say what they would never do for a man i'm not cooking for no man i'm not cleaning yeah. for no man i'm cooking for you i'm cleaning for you call me a pick me because guess what i want to be picked i don't want to live a rough life and i think a lot of women have this expectation of all the things that they want out of a man but they're not willing to pour into a man that's right i think that's crazy and i also think that social media has tainted the view of relationships you guys are stuck on the relationships that you see on social, on social media. media that's not real life let's be realistic have realistic expectations because if they were to be realistic, then they'd have to use a lot of critical thought. I think what a lot of women mean when they say a rough life is a lot of those decisions take a mental toll on them. It's a lot of emotional investment in a lot of the things that they do, even for the little stuff. So having to do that over a period of time, obviously it's going to get easier, but it's something that they don't really like to do if they don't have to. Okay. Y'all, so I used to always just go for tall guys, and I thought that tall guys was where it was at. But boys are wrong, y'all, because I have been wasting my time on these six, 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 seven, six, four pretty boys for forever. Mm -hmm. For forever. And, you know, I finally went and I got me a little short king. And, you know, he's not too short. He's not like a little miniature. But he's 5'9", so he's not like tall. It's average height. And when I say this man, mm -hmm, I do anything for him. That is a man. Like, who cares about the height? Because he is a man. You did. Like, he is a provider. He has a great personality. He's so attractive. He's so funny. Like, he be putting it down. And that man is a munch. He is a munch. Like, I I'm his last supper. Type so all I'm saying, ladies, is give these short men a chance because I don't think I'm going back. Living out in delusional land. This is an average man. I tried to explain this to her, but she's still having trouble accepting and understanding what a statistic actually is. If you're underneath 5'9", then you could be considered short. If you're over 5'9", you could be considered tall. But 5'9 is the average. If you make a 70 and everybody else is making 70s, all of you are average. That's the average score. But if somebody makes an 80, somebody makes a 60, you're below, you're above. Does that make sense? What the fuck? When you get aged, right? When a guy says, will you marry me? Why does only the lady have to wear a ring and say, I'm claimed, but the guy gets to walk around, no rubber on, and say, I can still fuck. That's women are objects. This is crazy. Why, don't it, why doesn't a guy have to wear an engagement ring? What if I hate your last name? This is crazy. Can we change the narrative? Yeah, you could just buy him a ring and that'll be the end of that. That's the most obvious answer here. Why do I have to take on his name? Because you're coming into his house. You're leading. You're joining his company. Does that make sense? You want him to be the front. So naturally, when you get behind, if somebody drafts me, I'm on their team. I am now a part of the Dallas Cowboys. Go Cowboys. I am now a part of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Does that make sense? 
who's every team I get added to, I am branded with their name unless I have my own team. So I posted the video about my husband calling me if he needed me to do something and without me asking any questions or asking what he needs me to do, my response is yes, I will. I will do whatever he needs me to do. So a young lady stitched the video and she was like, Talking she's better than me. But she'll do whatever her husband wants her to do. She is. First she's of married. all, let me just emphasize that I don't ask what he needs me to do because I know he would never ask me to do no stupid shit. He would never ask me to do anything that is crazy mm -hmm. or anything that's disrespectful or anything that I would not do or have a problem doing. So therefore, I don't ask because he's not that type of man. He respects me and I don't question what he needs me to do because I know it's probably something that's going to benefit the, the both, both of, us. of us. So therefore, if you have to question what your man is saying or asking you to do every time he's asking you to do something, you Are don't you trust there? that man. You don't trust that he's got the best interest for you. You don't trust that he's going to ask you to do something that's not going to be out the way. And that sucks for you. <laughs> it sucks that you have somebody that you question. Me, I don't question my husband because I know what I got. And he's very capable of leading me in the right direction. That's why he's my husband. Exactly. But they'll try to keep these women out here, even though they're married happily. They'll try to make it seem like they're in a terrible situation. I listened to a video by Abin Preach where the woman sat there and let some other couple talk about how the man is mishandling her and walked out. Now, I hope that wasn't a real story, but it just lends to the ideology that a lot of these women out here today have to where I'm not doing anything. And if my friend says something, I'll go with it. But if my man says something, I ain't listening to that. And they wonder how they get themselves in these situations and they end up failing single and lonely. I am shaking and I am never dating again. So I matched with a guy on one of the apps texting all last night. He called me this morning at 8 a.m. We had like a 30 minute conversation on the phone. He was okay. like, hey, let's go on a breakfast date. I'm like, okay. So he drives. It takes him 30 minutes, by the way. We walk around for maybe like five minutes and we find a spot. We'll look at the menu. And then he's like, hey, can we go somewhere else? And I'm like, okay. I'm thinking this man just doesn't like the menu. Nope. <laughs> this man looks at me and says to me, <laughs> I am shaking. You are somebody I don't want to spend time with. <laughs> I know myself well, and I know that you're just not going to be a person I want to talk to. Yeah. We just talked about where we should go to eat. Dang. Oh, and then he continues. He continues. I don't care what you think about me. This is my relationship that I want to be in one day, and it's not going to be with you. And then he says, I can at least walk you back. And yeah. I said, I can walk yeah. myself back. I called him a word loudly so people heard. You got to embarrass these men. And now this man has Why? to drive 30 minutes. <laughs> Knowing that he just fumbled the biggest bag. Like, he what? Didn't. Hey guys, so I need to clarify a couple of things because I'm getting a lot of hate on this. I posted a TikTok about are. the date that went wrong. Or the almost date. I respect honesty. 100%. Be honest if you're not feeling it. Be honest. But saying to somebody who you just met in public, in front of people, mind you, in front of people, and I quote, you're not good enough for me. Isn't nice. <laughs> Honestly, it's a very rude thing to do. He could have pulled me at least in rude. private and said, hey, I'm not feeling this. Let's go end this now. And I would have been cool. I wouldn't have even come on and made a TikTok about it. And when I called him that word, because I did talk about how I did call him something, it was in private. I would never embarrass somebody in public, even though they embarrassed me. So to all the comments saying, he's a king, he dodged a bullet. As or saying things TikTok. like, oh, girls are crazy. They can't handle rejection. That's yeah. not the case. It was the continuing to belittle me after he rejected me in front of people. So I hope that clarifies things and let's try not to be so mean to me on my video. Listen, you've got here on TikTok talking about you didn't want to embarrass anybody. But once again, here you are on TikTok. Listen, he could have said this a lot more tactfully, but the fact of the matter is within five minutes, he did what he was supposed to do. Listen, I don't think you and I are going to work out. I'm sorry you drove all this way, but the least I could do is walk you back to your car. You didn't want to hear that because number one, your feelings were probably hurt. He didn't want to talk to you. Number two, yeah, it's probably a little bit embarrassed that he was rude like that. So I would say to him, be a little, a lot more tactful in what you say. It's like, hey man, I'm sorry to have that to come all this way, but I, I really feel in it. You know, I'll pay for everything, but I'm, I'm going to head out, right? But if you're talking about not embarrassing somebody and then you end up on TikTok, and I think she said something like, well, I didn't say his name. It doesn't matter. The intent is for you to get on here and embarrass him. And in that regard, you know what? I won't even say that. 
Because if somebody hit you up and they were like, hey, this is this and, and, and this is the way I feel about you and they were rude about it, then obviously your emotions are going to be on it. So I won't even say you're a red flag for that. I'll just say you don't have to share this with TikTok. Okay, thanks. You know what I realized? I feel like men don't really chase anymore. Chase? Yeah. yeah. yeah you can find the right guy to chase it. You won't want him though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's why we don't do it anymore. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, ass, that's right? literally uh, what that's why we don't do that anymore. Are you going to deny it? Yeah. Are you going to deny it? That's oh my god. That's yeah, yeah, that's 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 easy, it. but it's you true. You just right? dropped that out of nowhere. Yeah, you know, yeah. that, guy, that guy knows what to talk about. He laughed. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I love Chaser. <laughs> it's all good. We've all been there. <laughs> We've all been there. Every guy's been there. Every guy's every gotten hurt. They've all gotten hurt. I chased for years, man. I chased for years too. Now I feel like y'all want to be chased. No. I used to be left alone. I think guys chase their first love and then after that no more yes i can agree with that you mean wait wait you mean yeah. chase you mean like doing all the stuff that like for example like your dad was doing to your mom like keep trying and being persistent do you yeah. kind of mean like yeah. that yeah nah you're not doing that no more no one's doing that anymore well now mm. it's time to start again nah um if you waste my time then i'm not going to be chasing you i think a lot of the time men have gotten better at understanding hey, this woman is not worth my time. And so a woman that comes up doing the same old tricks and gimmicks that you do with all of these other men, thinking that you can play this guy, uh, I don't want that, get out of my face. Well, you're insecure. If you don't know how to handle a baddie, then just say that. I'm saying it now. You can get out of my face. I'll pay for everything. I'll even call you an Uber, but get out of my face. Oh, a real man would, and they just go on for hours, minutes, and days talking nonsense. Listen, ma'am, I've gotten to the point to where I understand that you're not going to be helpful in my life. So we're just not gonna jive. Is that okay? And I'm not gonna chase something that I'm not interested in. I'm not gonna chase something that's not gonna reciprocate the energy, that's gonna cause me a lot of stress and heartache, but that's what you're wanting to do. And at the end of the day, it's probably gonna be like, well, after five years, I just fell out of love. After I spent all my resources, time and energy chasing and pursuing you, and you knew from the start that you weren't interested. I think I'm going to pass. So yes, there are in fact men chasing, you just don't want them. And the men that you try to do that to, they just say, you know what? I got somebody that's actually gonna be interested in me. I think I'll take them up on the offer to go get a coffee or a drink or something like that. But that's just my opinion. Until the next video, I'm out.